So we've come to the end of the first month of 2014 and I think we've kind of seen the battle lines getting drawn by Google now. Um, which is kind of weird because at the beginning of the year it seemed to be so awesome. Uh, we started to see the re-inclusion requests coming back and then all of a sudden things went south and we started to get these little messages in Webmaster Tools that were saying, do not put another one in for a couple of weeks, we're not even going to look at it. In that time, then Rap Genius came back out of its penalisation, which was a little bit of a surprise because they had been naughty and they were truly apologetic on their website. Um, we all kind of thought that they wouldn't come back so quickly, but after 10 days, hello, they're back. So that was kind of like a little bit of a, an upturn because we thought, well, actually, maybe Google is going to be more lenient on websites this time around. And then gets close to the end of the month and what do we get? Mad Cuts reveals the biggest secret on the internet so far today that guest blogging may be going south. I think we all knew this, we've all known this for a long time, but Matt's put a fork in it, which actually, the way that he put it over, has caused two issues. Um, one, obviously, people that were doing guest posting are a little bit upset that there's going to be a revenue stream um, died up there because of the blogs that were taking money for, for these posts. Um, there's also the other side of it where you've got professional writers that were actually making money um, by writing articles and some of these guys are still saying well what should I do you can I actually write for for, for these like high profile websites um, so there's been a bit of backwards and forwards on there and I think the jury's actually still out on this but one of the big upshots of it is, is that we're seeing more and more high profile websites now are having a no linking policy which is kind of weird really, isn't it? Because if that's a journalistic website and they're writing about your website, surely those are the kind of links that Google want to see on the web? I don't know. It's, it seems very weird that all of a sudden the links that Google actually wants you to get are the first set of links that actually dry up on the web. Perfect example of this was that um, we did a blog post on davidnaylor.co.uk um, after we were tweeted that it looked like Erwin Mitchell had been penalised in Google for its brand. Surely enough it had and a lot of the, the lawyer blogs picked up on this. They used quotations from our blog but obviously they wouldn't link to us because they are too scared to link out these days. And now if that's the case that's going to go on, we're going to get the situation where the gap is going to get wider. And what's going to happen is that the large brands are going to be too scared to actually even approach journalists to write about their brands and the smaller little websites that can nip in there and go, do you know what, I don't care, I'm still going to pay a couple of hundred dollars or twenty-five dollars or a thousand dollars because I'm the only one who's getting clean links in this game at the moment. So that, that was kind of weird and it was like, how are they going to manage this situation? What are they actually going to do? Um, search metrics then updated around the 23rd and we saw what they were going to do. Music Magpie.co.uk, they don't write for the domain. Retail Choice, another one that was hit. Erwin uh, Mitchell, obviously, I'd mentioned. Protect Your Bubble was another one. Um, and on and on and on. And then, obviously, while the dust was settling on that, Matt comes out and says, We've just taken out a French network called Vizier and now we're going after a German network. So I'm sure there's a load of. Uh, German people out there at this moment in time, they think that is not good, yeah. Um, we'll see how that works anyway. So, battle lines are being drawn. Matt said, no more guest posting. We shouldn't do this. He's also came out and said, article submissions, big no, don't do that either. Previously, he said, don't buy links. I think that's a given these days. Um, so, what's really left? If the journalists don't want to link to you because they're scared of Google repercussions, where are you going to get these editorial backlinks from? The backlinks that Google so much needs to live, needs to survive, needs to rank websites. It's going to be an interesting year.